So I just wanted to give a quick channel update and say kind of what I've been up to in the past year and what I'm planning for this year. This video is really something I'm making more for myself than anyone else. So without further ado, let's get started. Today is Christmas Day of 2019. I want to talk a little bit about 2019 in review. So in 2019, I started the channel Work Better Together. I've uploaded 21 public videos, one video every two and a half weeks, four full-length presentations, five uh, Q&A videos, and then two full-length interviews with other practitioners out there in the world. Some of my analytics, I had 4,000 impressions for people watching a video on YouTube and then seeing one of my videos. 20% of my viewers came from those recommendations. I don't really care that much about getting lots of traffic. Uh, this is more educational content. In terms of the videos that were served to others, Agile in the Enterprise with Holacracy. Holacracy Q&A is a policy that defines a minimum blah, blah, blah. That was also pretty high. Creating a culture of action takers uh, presentation. That was a good presentation. Yeah. Businesses without bosses, self-management with Holacracy. And the challenge, where I first started talking about the challenge of doing remote coaching in self-management. So for 2019, my grand total revenue was zero dollars and zero cents. Uh, the goal of this channel is not to make money, it's to disseminate information and create community. So in 2020, I'm gonna make a number of changes. I'm gonna be changing how I'm doing the brand, the purpose of the channel, the services I provide, my strategy and intentions with the channel, the content that I plan to publish. We'll touch on partnerships and then my revenue goals for the coming year. In changing my brand, my old brand was Work Better Together. The new brand is called the Effective Institute. Effective Institute is an umbrella for all of my projects. As far as changing purpose, the old purpose was to help people work better together. The new purpose is to demystify self-management and make getting things done easier. Something I've said for a while is that I think Holacracy has a user experience problem. It's sort of like the early days of software. It's still very hard to use. And one of my goals is to make it easier and demystify it so people can do it. I also um, have a lot of optimizations and tools and systems that I use in my life outside of self-management. So I plan to make a lot of videos on those sorts of tools. So if you have any thoughts, send them over. As far as services, education is number one. Products, I'm building a couple of products to assist with self-management. The third service that I offer is consulting, and this just takes the form of productivity, self-management, agile workflows, getting things done as a group, purpose work. And I also have experience with, you know, just what it's like to be a human being. And that can involve depression and anxiety and addiction. And we're still human beings and we still deal with all the stuff that it means to be human. And I don't wanna lose sight of that. Education work, I'm planning to start a Patreon next year. If you like a video, you can donate on a monthly basis. If you donate at a certain level, in a sense, you would become my boss. As far as products, they will remain free. Consulting work is project-based. The framework will also be free. So let's talk for a minute about the products. I've been working on a product called Teal Dog. Teal, it reflects uh, the teal movement and dog, man's best friend. So the goal here is to create something that goes with you, that helps you along in your journey in self-management. It's a four letter domain name, hard to beat that. So what does Teal Dog do? Teal Dog supports self-management practice. It also is designed to educate users in the moment as they're doing self-management. And I'm adding quizzes and um, videos and various sorts of features contextual in the moment to help people get education. By using the tool, it'll store metrics for you and it'll make recommendations about what is the next best thing for you to be doing. I would love for people to use this tool and say, it's too simple for me, I know everything that's in there. If someone says that, I know they're a good practitioner. They know how to do self-management. The other tool I'm trying to build is a visual task manager. So the goal here is to make time visible and to give tasks and projects a sense of mass. I kind of think of it as getting things done without the overhead. Stay tuned, it still doesn't have a name. So as in terms of strategy for the next year, give away value even over personal gain. Create faster, shorter, simpler content even over things that are more thorough and complete. Change behavior even over educating through concepts. How do we change behavior? Like really, just a personal strategy is to publish now even over publishing something better later. This video today, I spent, I've been working on it for about two hours, and I said I'm not getting up until this is done. I also wanna do more partnerships in the coming year. Uh, I'm an only child, and I've been very good at like doing my life alone. Um, there are a few people that I wanna do partnerships with in the coming year. I'd like to do three to four partnerships of some size, some shape in 2020. As far as a change to content, well, 2019 was all about Holacracy. I've never given the same presentation twice. 2020 is going to be about what is videos and then also understanding videos, which go a little bit deeper. 
everything's been very much about Holacracy this past year. I also plan to do um, reviews of tech tools, apps that I use, and I think those will have kind of a wider appeal. So these will be best practices around tech tools and reviews and recommendations. Uh, I want to continue to do more interviews and get more material out there that involves content that I don't know about. I really don't want this to be the Jonathan show. But what I love about working with people is the, the emergent creativity. It's like playing when you're young, you know? It's like being in the sandbox. All that to say, uh, more interviews in 2020. So goals for 2020, I wanted to put down some concrete numbers. I intend to publish 10 what is videos, 10 understanding videos, 10 tech tool videos, three more presentations for groups, at least three interviews. In terms of consulting work, have three teams using the principles. I would also like to have 20 active users on Teal Dog per month. I'd also like to have three monthly donors on Patreon. I don't plan to be buying any Lamborghinis or anything. My revenue goal for 2020 for the YouTube channel, again, zero dollars. This is a way to uh, give back to people, give to the community, learn from others, um, and create. So that's all I had for the presentation. Uh, I wanted to say thanks to a number of people. Topher, my main man, you helped me so much in so many ways. Um, I really, really appreciate the time that we spent together. Uh, Bethany, thank you for supporting me and being with me. Sarah G, Nick Lombardino, um, you guys are awesome. We, we shared something around some possibility. And of course, like Carolyn, Brian, Rebecca, uh, Eric, Lex, Lewis, Tara, Eric G, Chris, Olivier, the whole uh, Holacracy One team. I have so much respect for, for all of you. For Matt. Also, uh, Pavel, thanks for reaching out. Uh, Andy at DreamBank, thanks for having me. Chad and Jeff, thanks for being so welcoming at Agile Madison. Jeff M, of having me on the Agile Wire podcast. Again, Brian and Rebecca, thanks for having me out to the, the Holacracy uh, Practitioner Training. Uh, Robin, Nicole, everyone at Xander Media, thanks for having me to the Responsive Conference. Such an amazing group of people. And all the Zappos people who I met who have moved Holacracy um, forward, the whole market-based dynamics thing. Uh, so hope to run into you guys soon. Holland in general, thank you. Uh, Guadalupe, Mike, and everyone at Finless. James and Tomorrow Trust, um, thanks for believing in me. Looking forward to our work together. Jackie Patricia, thanks for being such an inspiration um, in terms of the, the, the love and light that you bring to the world and how you express it. Also, of course, my mom and my dad. People I'm looking forward to working with, uh, Will from Enlivening Edge. Um, I hope we can do some very cool stuff this year. Uh, Andy Novakin, I'm really looking forward to working with you. I hope that uh, we can do something. And um, Joe P, Joe B, and Sarah at Rebate Bus, I think we can do some really great work there. Also, I know this is cliche, Steve Jobs and everyone that he stole from for the Mac, for the modern smartphone, for changing like so many people's lives in the world. Tim Burns Lee for the web browser, I use that one every day, so thanks for that, man. And also uh, Rob Nealon, being such a, such a bro all these years, and um, Ketten uh, in San Francisco, some of my favorite startup people that I knew from when I was living out there. Micah, Micah Cersei, thanks for you know, having a place for me and the time that we spent together, and the list goes on. 2019 in the past, that was that, and going forward, we're looking at 2020. Just told you guys a little bit about what I'm going to be up to. This was a live stream and I might cut it up into pieces and uh, do a condensed version. Maybe I'll link to this version from the condensed version. So perhaps you've already seen the quick one and you're clicking through. Uh, and that's about it. Normally I would say, let's work better together. Anyway, see you guys soon. Please drop me a line, j at teal.dog. Uh, many of you have my phone number. You can drop a comment in the description. Um, please like and subscribe if you haven't. Uh, pushing that share button is huge because if you share this with some with like your people and two or three of them watch it, you could turn someone onto self-management and it could change their life. Okay, thanks much. Jonathan out.